Chris with HobbyKing.com. And guys, we've been through a lot of stuff together between shipping issues with LiPo batteries, FAA. I think it's time we make our relationship a little more serious. So if you're ready for this, totally joking. What were you guys thinking? Anyway, what this is, is the Naze 32 flight controller. I know it's been long anticipated and uh, especially with the, uh, the micro quads hitting the market and, and a lot of that, this has got a lot of reviews and become ever popular. And of course, Time Cop has uh, helped us develop the Afro series. So we went ahead and went to him and said, hey, we wanna grab this controller. And, uh, and so this is 100% authorized uh, as well as royalties paid on each one. So I'll just get that out of the way right there. But what we have here is actually the Aqua version of Funfly. So let me go ahead and pop it out and take a look at it. Now this is the latest and greatest. It comes uh, preloaded with the, uh, the latest firmware on it as well as it's the Revision 5 board itself. Like I was saying, it was the Acro version uh, where the full version uh, adds the barrel and the compass on it. So this one uh, has a lot of uh, great features uh, as well as uh, auto level, Acro, uh, blend mode where it's kind of an auto level Acro mode and a bunch of other hosts of different things that you can do there. Now, like I was saying, it is the most complete kit. So if we take a look and what I mean by that is one thing that we didn't do is just solder on the header pins. And, and we left that to you because we couldn't decide uh, based off the market uh, research we did it. A lot of people use the straight, a lot of people use the 90 degrees, uh, so we offered both. Uh, so in the package, you're going to get your 90 degree uh, header pins for your outs, as well as enough uh, straight ones there as well. And what's really nice is it's kind of broken down into uh, subcategories. So if you're only flying a quad, you can only solder up four if you want, uh, or if you're flying you know, a hex, you can go ahead and put the additionals on there. But we leave that option to you, and it's fairly easy. Just pop them through the board and run a bead of solder along all those, and you're all set. On the input uh, rail, we're including a, uh, a breakout harness for that. Now, of course, if you're running uh, this uh, via PPM or you're running it with a uh, DSM-2 satellite receiver, you can go ahead and just do a direct solder on those or only solder up three of the pins on the input rail. So just uh, be aware that this is the Acro version. It is Revision 5. It's the latest and greatest. Uh, and a few uh, things about this board. It's a 32-bit uh, ST Micro. Uh, based off uh, a lot of the reading research as well as I've been flying it personally, uh, I guess this processor is only getting tasked about 10% of its potential. A lot of uh, availability for upgrading it, but as far as uh, what it can do right now, it's just truly amazing uh, board. And it is the newer, smaller footprint, so it's great for those smaller quads. And what I mean by that is it's 36 millimeter by 36 millimeter, and the mounting on this is uh, 30.5 square on that. Anyway, guys, check it out. It's up on the new items page. And in the link uh, under the product description, I've got tons of links where you can go to the different uh, uh, sources for information on this. And the one thing I do want to say is that it has one of the nicest GUIs or graphical user interfaces available. Very easy. You can plug it in. You can calibrate the board. You can easily select what frame you want, uh, change all kinds of specs. It's, it's clear. It's understandable. Um, as far as that. And the best thing is it's Chrome based, which means it's usable on all the uh, OS platforms, meaning it works on Windows, it works on Macs, it works on uh, uh, Android systems. You just download the, uh, the Chrome based uh, flight configurator and, and you're off and running. Just plug it in and configure it out. Just set your frame type plus or minus. And the stock PID values on this board work with about 90% of the, uh, the frames out there. So you really don't even get in there and tune anything other than uh, really how responsive you want your transmitter to be. Like I said, check it out. It's up on the new items page. And as always, subscribe to YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.